Well, it's Monday today and uh, I've been working for just over a week and uh, I think it's about a week, I haven't really kept check of the time and I uh, haven't done it all day every day, I've just done a bit here and a bit there but uh, I finished seven books off I, I, I do softbacks because I got a bit lazy and then I thought oh, I'll have a go at doing some hardbacks and then they didn't look finished so I put them in cases so these are seven books that I've done um, so far and uh, I'm doing um, I'm doing them in series. Uh, the black ones there at the moment are not in a series, they're a bit of a mishmash. It's, um, I think one of them is the Odyssey and the other two are Palmistry and um, the Arabian Nights. But these three, the red three, are, I think it's the Aeneid and um, oh, a couple of other things in the same vein. Uh, the Iliad. I think one's the Iliad, and I forget, just forget what the other one is, but I'll open them up in a minute so you can have a look at and see what I've been doing. And the one other one is Myths and Legends, which is a book I did on its own. And I'm running out of, um, I'm getting a bit, colours are getting a bit thingy at the moment. I've brought a blue backing on that, and uh, it's got a green a green case. But uh, I can change the cases, because all, all my books are very, very nearly the same. So when I get some more stuff, I can make a, a case up in blue and then put that one into a green book and things like that. They'll chop and change and cases aren't all that. They're not all that um, thing. They're just to protect the books in any case and keep the where the pages because the pages go yellow very quickly on the tops as well as you know. Uh, and the other thing I've been doing is um, I'm going to make some little I've got one, two, three, four made up the top here and I'm going to make some books some of the, I normally make books in the, I'll just pan around, I normally do that kind of thing, what I've got up there, they're, they're small books, they're just jotter books with, with the lines in and anything else, but what I wanted to do was, that's what I've been doing, but I wanted to do a different thing on these, I wanted to set these up and get about 256 sheets, that's about 16, 16 um, signatures and uh, I'm going to put them into a I don't know if anybody's interested in that I'm going to put a back on them like so and then make it a flip top so as you can flip it open and then the, the, the back will be on there and the thing will flip open and I'm going to put it, I'll cut it off obviously and then I'll put a little um, velcro strap on so as it can, it'll close up properly and make it a little jotting pad for that way on, so the, the books will open sort of that way. Anyway, we'll, I'll try. I'm getting a bit sick of doing say, the things the same way. You get a bit tired of doing things the same way. So anyway, I'll put that back up there because this is what I've got a, a long way to go on these. Um, yeah, the blue one is, it's going to be a little bit difficult. They should come out reasonably well, these, reasonably easily. But I am doing it in one hand. <laughs> here we go. Ah, here we go. That's it. So, and I put white backing on these. Um, it's a blue. It's half bound actually. It's um, just got the back done and and the sides are, are white. But it's uh, it's in Rexine. The back is in Rexine, and. Um, the front is in like a marbly paper, I don't know. Anyway. Um, the internal papers for the books I got from my daughter. She went out shopping one day and she came back and she, she brings me all the little bits of paper and things. I don't know if you can see this, but these have got little shiny bits on them. They're, they're little goldy bits and I thought they were quite attractive, but uh, anyway. It's blue to go with the book, but I just didn't have the, the right colour. I did it in green because I, I haven't got the colours now to do to do what I want to do because uh, the book round is quite expensive and you've got to use up what you've got while you've got it. And uh, So I'll put another bookcase on that later on. So that's, that's that one I've done. And the book itself is um, 
Yeah, must be driving people crazy trying to explain things. I'll move it up the way over there. The book itself is... It, it opens rather well. I'm getting used to making books now. I mean, there's no problem making book blocks and things. And they put me in little logos in and things like that. And this is Myths and Legends of Ancient Greece and Rome. And it's a handbook of mythology. I always wanted one of these. And uh, so you've got... Because the questions you get now, my wife likes questions and things like that. And most of the questions you get are on Greek and Roman mythology. So this has got all the bits in and uh, the night and their children, the, uh, the minor divinities, the harpies, etc. It's got... It's quite a good read, and um, it's quite interesting. It, it tells you how to pronounce some of the words. I rang my friend up today and I said, "Do you know? Do you know a Norse god called Frigia?" <laughs> and he laughed at me. <laughs> and he, I forget how he pronounced it now, but he said it right anyway. He, he reads the Norse gods. I haven't, I haven't read anything to do with Norse gods yet. So uh, I do pronounce things badly. I'm afraid. And even when I get it right, it's still a bad because I'm got a Yorkshire accent. Anyway, this has got a few pictures in. It's quite, it's quite pleasant, and uh, it's just like a little uh, encyclopedia of, of all the gods, uh, the Greek gods, and and it's it's quite interesting. But you don't have to read it as a book. You can do it because it's written quite simply. But you can go and look for which god you want. Mars, God of War, etc. And it tells you all about him and the sea divinities and things like that. Anyway, I always wanted one of them, so. I found that uh, quite interesting and uh, the other ones that I did were these are three quarter bound that's a half bound these are, these are three quarter binds and I'll try and get the, the books open I put a yellow inside in these although it does look like a cardboardy but it is yet it is actually yellow and um, uh, I haven't got the colour schemes off right yet, so I should have done that a little bit brighter. But anyway, the books stand up quite nicely, and I've I've been using a special little cutting board that I got, uh, which cuts things off quite quite level for me. It's not actually a cutting board; it's I use it for picture framing as well. It's called um, uh, a compact elite mat cutter, and that's the thing there. And that cuts me straight edges for me, and there's a little cutter, cutter thing, and it's it's very very handy, and it also cuts out um, inserts for our picture frames, which I'm also interested in. Um, yeah, this is three quarter bind, and uh, I keep bouncing around. Oh, this is the Odyssey. Yeah, this is the Odyssey. This one, and uh, I have read the Odyssey. And I've seen pictures on it and things like that, but uh, I don't know. I think I put a few. I put a few pictures in this. There was no pictures in in this one, but um, the back. There's a few lo loose little bits of thing on the edges and things like this because this one was a bit thick for me guillotine, so I had to rub this with. I've got um, a piece of emery cloth and a bit of wood, and I put it into my little what I call my plough. It's just a pincer, and then I just rub the edges to make them into the shape that I want, flatness and things like that. So if it's too big for me, for my little cutter, because I can only cut up to about half an inch to an inch with the cutter, this is a little bit oversized. And um, this one is, as I say, it's the Odyssey, and I've put a few pictures in, but I'd better not spend too long with this one, because it'll bore people to tears. And... This one is, really, this is it, a little, they're a little bit tight yet because they're new, but once once they've been used a few times, so they should be a little bit tight, but not too tight. There'd be no problem by hand if you had two hands, but obviously I'm trying to work with one hand again. And this one is... Um, You see the back fly quite flat. Oh, the Enid uh, by Virgil. Um, this one I might have shown you before, but uh, yeah, that's the Enid. And the other one, little one here in the same vein. It's three in the, exactly the same three quarter binds books. 
just get them out of the boxes a little bit better. See how a bit new. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, and this one's um, the children of Odin. Oh, this is the Norse gods. Frigia. Frigia, yeah, that's a name, Frigia. Not Frigi. <laughs> what the name I gave her, Frigia. Yeah. Frigia. 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 Frigia, that's a name, Frigia. Not Frigia. Frigia. Sounds as I'm swearing now. But anyway, um, the pictures were already in this one. It's uh, It was a book that was already had the pictures in. The pictures by a, a person that gives you the name at the front. I just forget his name. And the other ones. I'm running into 11 minutes now. I don't have a lot of time left. So I'll just do the one and these. And these are the full bound. These are fully bound. And I got the colours right on these. They've got a nice nice colour inside them. Oh and this is the Eliad by Homer. So I should have had these all in the same same colour really but uh, yeah and they've all got they're all they've all got the same uh, things in they've all got the backings in all got the little the little backs in and things so I'm quite pleased with them and uh, yeah, so I'll get on with some small ones now and uh, I'll give the books a rest for a minute because I've got, unless I get rid of them, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. <laughs> Somebody wants them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be, the dustbin's going to be full. But I do enjoy making them, it's just that I've got to get rid of them. <laughs> got to get rid of them when I've done them. It's all right having a hobby, it's just, I should do little things. It's got to be great big things for me, books and things. But uh, anyway. I do enjoy making them, they fill up your day. Anyway, I'll stop there and uh, hope that's of some use or some interest to somebody who, whoever's been watching. There's a week's work there anyway, and uh, I enjoyed it all. Apart from the mistakes, which I, I'm not going to show you. I will go, I'll make a, I'll make a thing on mistakes one day, but not today. <laughs> I'll see.